And we're back. Uh, welcome back to SSU TV Live. My name is Ian Loney, and I'm here with Matt Page and Rich Michelson. And uh, we're going to make some bold predictions. Um, we have some, uh, some rather uh, bold ideas about what's going to happen with the, with the Seattle sports scene in the coming weeks. And we also have some things from our uh, SSU uh, writers and editors that we're going to go over with you. So uh, let's start uh, with Matt. You have a bold prediction for us. Oh, bold prediction. All right, here we go. Your 2016 Seattle Mariners will make the playoffs. They will make the playoffs. They will make the playoffs. That's a bold prediction, huh? They will make the playoffs. Wow. What, it's it's a very What's your bold rationale prediction. for that? My rationale is that we actually have a GM now who will make the right moves. The and we're not, we're, not, we're not far. Anyway, moving on. Wow, that's, that's that is Mariners. really, I said that's really, I really Seahawks? You said Seahawks. I said Seahawks. I meant Mariners. <laughs> My bad. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. The Seahawks make the playoffs. I meant the Mariners. Huh? Mar your, Seattle, your Seattle Mariners 2016 will make the playoffs. So the Mariners make the playoffs next year? Next year. That's your bold prediction? Next year, That's wow. my bold prediction. That's, and you, that think bold. you think this GM will make all the moves that are needed? I believe including so. Including building an outfield from scratch? I believe so. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm we'll, sorry. <laughs> so we'll go there. So, so I guess that brings us to uh, the man behind the curtain over there, our technical director, Bob Lucky. Uh, Bob, what's your bold prediction for this, if there is a Bob? Besides the fact that Matt will actually make a bold prediction next time. Well, Matt may or may not make a bold prediction next time. But I what's can't your really hear bold you, Bob. <laughs> Are you sure you have your, yeah, you your, mic your mic on? I predict he'll get his microphone on. Okay. Yeah. So, so anyway, well, while Bob's figuring that out, Rich, why don't you tell me what your bold prediction is? Uh, my bold prediction is that the U.S. men's national team will lose to Trinidad and Tobago on to next next Tuesday. That is a bold prediction. In World, World, World Cup qualifying. Why do, you, why do you think that's going to happen? Because German uh, Jurgen uh, Klinsmann is uh, a, a dope that can't build a roster. Now this this is an ongoing thing. Rich. Does this is an like ongoing US thing. But uh, team, I, hey, I guys, I, I wore my men's national team scarf tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to send good vibes to them. I hope they go and blow both teams out. That yeah. They play over the next few days. But uh, I'm uh, I'm skeptical. Okay. I'm I don't. I'm not very optimistic. Okay. Well, fair enough. So, um, so I guess we'll get into my bold prediction then. I here's my bold prediction. So. I actually have two, and I'm going to go over them both with you right here. First of all, the Seahawks aren't just going okay. to make the playoffs. They're going to go on a tear just like last year. They're going to go 7-1 and one in the second half. They're going to end up 11-5 and five on the season, and they're going to win the division. They're going to beat Arizona both times. Wow. They're going to even get a playoff home game. They're not going to get a bye, of course. But that's my, bold, that's my first bold prediction. All my right. second bold prediction is the Sounders – are going to decide this offseason that they are too old and they're going to tear up the core of that team. I think I think that some of the, there's going to be some there's going to be some major changes in the Sounders come opening day. Uh, I'm not sure what all of them will be, but I think um, I think there will be some uh, a big changing of the guard. They're going to make a big move to get younger this offseason. That's my second goal of prediction. So what do you guys think of those? As far as your first one, uh I don't even know where to start. How? How is it going to happen? The Seahawks, seven and one. I I think the defense is dominant, and I think that the offense is starting to come together. They're they, they're doing what they've always done, just enough. I mean, the, the I, offense has never been good. I I will jump in <laughs> here with with a with an answer for you, Matt, on that. Uh, the Seahawks, uh, defense, uh, kind of has owned Carson Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer is mm. is a quarterback that's very good, but he's never been good against elite defenses. Never once has he taken a team. You know, on his back and, and push them into being a, a prime time uh, playoff contender. Or, uh, in fact, you know, I think he's won one playoff game in his career, maybe two. Okay. But, but he's not been particularly successful. So I can see that happening. Well, that's two and games. the Ravens and the Browns are just kind of mediocre. So, yeah, I mean, the, the schedule is somewhat favorable. And there's five home games too. So yeah, they they have the five of their five of their games are at home. I I'm saying they're going to win all five of those. They have the one road game against Arizona. They just have to pull out one of the other two road games, and then yeah, they're seven and one. So there it is. Agree to disagree. Okay, um, so uh, the next one we're going to cover is from our our writer Brett Masker. 
Uh, he's made a bold prediction, and this is a pretty bold <coughs> one, that the Excuse UW me? basketball team is going to make the NCAA tournament with seven freshmen on the on, out of the twelve. What do you guys think of that bold wow. prediction? Wow! They have they're gonna they're uh, gonna have seven freshmen on their roster this year, and they're gonna make the NCAA tournament. I wish he was here so I could mock him, but um, <laughs> I mean, if he does that, Lorenzo Lamar or Romar, sorry, <laughs> Lorenzo. Whatever the UW coach is 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 going to be up for national coach of the year mm-hmm. if he does if he does puts him on a run like that. That so, would be that would be quite remarkable. That yeah, is bold. That would be something. What do you think, Matt? Do you think there's any chance of that happening? Not at all. Okay. No, not so, at all. Sorry. So Bob, <laughs> have we got your sound working again? Yes, I believe we do. Yeah, it sounds like it. So what's your bold prediction? What do you? What's your big pick? My bold prediction is that due to. And we have some technical difficulties out there. Because he smashed his lamp. Yeah, he uh, lost some lighting over there. Okay, let's try that again. My bold prediction is that in a surprise guest, uh, because of a cancellation, Jerry Ryan will be at the next home game to raise the 12 flag. Unfortunately, this will serve as sort of a prediction, and the Seahawks will go on to win the go on to finish the season at seven of nine. Seven of wow. nine. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's, that's a, a pretty Trek bold prediction. Yeah, a little Star you. Trek joke uh, for you guys out there. For you guys. <laughs> So next, we have our <laughs> SSU uh, resident psychic and medium, Lindsay Paul. She's going to make a bold prediction for us. What do you, what do you say? Oh, yes. Well, thank you. Uh, I, 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 oh. Bob is... Oh, there we go. My bold prediction is that there will be more sports played and that there will be more arm socks that, that, that I will wear <laughs> as the seasons go on. There we go. That and seems like a same that. So she knows it's going to happen. By this, I can see it. I'm seeing the vision of it on my arm right now. <laughs> that seems like a safe bet. Yeah. I like it. So, uh, so yeah, that's a bold prediction, but I, th- I, I have to, I have, I mean, she, she can tell, yeah. so she can see it. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Yep. Yep. So, uh, Sounds good to me. Yeah, and finally, uh, we have our managing editor, Abraham Deweese. Um, what do you think is going to happen with a – what's your bold prediction? My first – I have two bold oh, predictions. Two. Oh. Dose. Is it on? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> my, my Speak up. My first bold prediction is that Richard Michelson, our soccer editor, will call me when he is wrong about Jurgen Klinsmann. Klinsmann takes us to the World Cup, and Rich will have to call me with an apology. That's my first bold prediction. To buy you a 3% beer. Takes us to the World Cup? (laughs) Or or wins the World Cup? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, Rich is looking smug over there, so I'm going to go to my second bold prediction. Yeah. And my second bold prediction is that the – I actually am going to agree that the UW basketball team with seven freshmen are going to go to the – uh, NCAA playoffs, but I'm going to tell you what: two of those freshmen are going to be All Pac-12, and you're going to see you're going to see a team that uh, just moves into the forefront of dominance in the Pacific Northwest. They're going to take out Gonzaga in. They're going to take out Gonzaga <laughs> in the Bahamas. They play Gonzaga this year in the Bahamas. They're going to take them out with seven freshmen that's that's uh, that's, right. that's quite <laughs> funny that's almost that's almost our, hilarious our local zag uh, <laughs> enthusiast over here yeah I, I, i'm quite a gonzaga fan being from spokane so <laughs> not i don't like see that rat. happening so um now i do i do have another bold prediction that a proposed here he also said uh, and he may be reneging on this now but he also said that the rams would win the NFC West and sweep Cincinnati, Arizona, humiliating Arizona, and and win the game in Seattle against the Seahawks. Okay. Uh, Abe, defend yourself on that one. <laughs> it could happen. It could still happen. It could still happen. <laughs> it could still happen. Yeah. You know, Jurgen Klinsmann could get fired. I could be made uh, <laughs> U.S. Men's National Team head coach too. So, yeah, but yeah. I mean, that's not likely. They could make, yeah, me or Rich. They could make either one of us. We'll, we'll both be National Team head coach. So, um, so that covers our bold predictions, and that covers our show for tonight. So I wanted to thank everyone for uh, staying tuned and watching the show. Um, you can follow us on our uh, on our Twitter at SSU um, at Seattle Side Up. I, or, yeah. Or Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> on Facebook, Seattle Side Up, or uh, or check out our uh, wonderful content at, at SeattleSideUp.com. Again, uh, thank you everyone for watching and have a great night.